this video, I'm going to talk about some general settings in the settings window up here. So if you click the software settings window, and we're actually working in the AMA Top Product Analyzer, you click this button here, and you can see the general tab. You got a few uh, default settings in here. Uh, the first one is you can actually integrate your Amazon affiliate ID into um, the output reports that you can uh, generate using the software. So let's say, for example, you're uh, outputting a bunch of products that you're going to basically maybe sell the reports to clients or to other people or maybe just offer these reports for free on uh, on a website or through a newsletter or something like that well you can put your affiliate IDs directly into the link so if people end up you know clicking your link and buying on Amazon you'll get commissions so all you have to do here is just select that and then type in your affiliate ID I'm just gonna put your affiliate ID and I click done and so when you generate reports, so I can just go ahead and clear this out and just do a quick, uh, quick search here. And so if you actually click the controls and let's just do the preview and you will see that when you click on one of these links here that your affiliate ID will show up in the link and also if you click on like the reviews every single link will contain your affiliate ID and so this is just in the reports file uh, the reports file is in essence the same as the export to interactive HTML file but if you also export to CSV file or text or or the interactive HTML file your affiliate ID will be linked in there even within the data in the grid like if you actually click on one of these you'll see uh, your affiliate ID is right in here. So if I do that again, click here, you can see it's right there. So that's a handy little feature. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Another thing you can do is you can set your default weight unit format. So in the weight column over here, we haven't actually extracted anything. I'm just going to clear this out, open up some files show some weight there we go so the default weight as you're extracting will be set in here so let's say for Amazon the US you can set to whatever you want from ounces pounds grams or kilograms and same with uh, the UK site so let's say I, I don't want to have it as pounds but I actually want it as I don't know, ounces for example click done it will it won't automatically convert it, it it will actually do it when you start doing a new search. So if you actually extract these again, um, extract more data, extract data for selected rows, it should show up in ounces. You can see there. So that'll be the default setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and pause that there. If you want to actually change all of these weights, it's very simple. Just go uh, weight conversions and change them all to grams, or change them all to pounds, or go back to the original weight conversions. So whatever you want. So that's how you can set your defaults there. Another thing you can do is you can actually set the Amazon per commission percentage, and this applies to the commission column here. And obviously this is more for affiliates, uh, Amazon affiliates, that's researching data. So you want to kind of see how much, you know, how much commissions you'll make if you actually start promoting these products as an Amazon affiliate. So by default, it's just set to 4%, but you have all these different percentages to select from. So let's say it's set to 10%, you click done, it'll automatically update this column to show you the percentages. And your percentages are depicted upon how much you actually um, sell as an Amazon affiliate so if you want to see those links you just simply click here for amazon.com it'll take you to the Amazon advertising fee chart and you can see the fees for each um, category and also um, how many products are shipped and downloaded or downloaded for a given month and how your uh, percentages are affected so you can see here if you sell over 3131 um, products in one month you get more than eight and a half percent commissions so the more you sell the more money you make basically and then same goes for the Amazon uh, UK site 
you see their compensation plan in here. So that's why we provided a lot of different options here to select from. I think the default is 4%. So that's another feature there in the settings. So that's basically it. If you want to actually go back to the defaults, just click the defaults button. It'll hit all the defaults back to what it was originally when you first installed it. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.